So in this video we are we are actually going into 3D and create a rotating 3D cube something like this a beautiful rotating 3D cube so I created a new file called video 07 underscore cube I'm going to change back this this is where we left off in the last video so we have simply colored quad so uh, cube needs eight vertices so I want to show you in blender we have a cube I'm going to to edit mode, deselect, uh, change to wireframe. As you as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. So with the help of Blender, I just created a text file and wrote down. Uh, the position of every vertice so the top vertex which is position free position here the, this vertex here and this vertex is this and this vertex is this position so we have the uh, top face and of course the bottom face is this, corresponds to this, this vertex to this position and this vertex to this and this vertex to this position. So we have eight vertices and uh, with the help of Blender I, I was able to create the indices too. So, the top face, the indices 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, which is 0, 1, 2, and 2, 3, and 0. The bottom is 4, 5, 6, which is 4, 5, 6, and 6, 7, 4, 6. Seven, four. So we have the top face and the bottom face, and the same way I created the uh, back side, the front side, the right side, and the and the left side of the cube. So Blender is a very useful tool. So now I'm gonna copy all these position and color values for, from my tester file Copy. and replace the quad here with the cube uh, change this numpy array to cube do the same with the indices. Control C and Control V. Replace the array with the indices. Okay, it's it's, <laughs> it's already okay. We have an extra bracket here. the position, the colors and uh, now we have to change here so we have now 6 times 8 which is 48 uh, values here so 48 times 4 bytes which is 96 
192. I need to change this to 192. So we are we are copying to, to the buffer 100 192 uh, bytes of data. And uh, let's see the indices. 24. We have six times. 6 which is 36 so where it is here it is T uh, 30 36 times 4 bytes which is 72 and 144 144 okay and this is stays the same same and uh, now we have here 24, not 24, but 36 values. So in the indices array, 6 times 6, 36, and uh, offset stays at none. So let's see it. So we have a cube, <laughs> but uh, we don't see the other sides because we are seeing it from the front view. But we're gonna rotate it in order to see the other sides. So in order to rotate the cube, we need new uniform variable in the vertex shader so uniform type of matrix 4 and let's name it transform and the semicolon okay uniform matrix 4 transform and the I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna mu multiply the transform transform with a vector four of position and one point zero f. Okay. So now looks everything okay. So now uh, I'm gonna use the peer which I installed in the first video, which is for doing mat mat matrix and uh, vector. Uh, multiplication, dot product, cross product, and so on. So here, in the, after we clear the color buffer a bit, I'm gonna create a variable called rotation x, and it will be equal to the not bit but peer dot matrix 44 dot um, rotate race rotate x from x rotation and I'm gonna do numpy dot pi no, not not uh, comma but times the GLF dot uh, get 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 time yes so numpy dot pi times GLF dot get time I'm going to 
get the transform location. Transform location equals the GL get uni form uniform location it is here GL get uniform location and uh, which is the in the shader program and the name of it, name of this is transform transform okay so we have the transform uniform location after that I'm gonna use the GL uniform matrix 4FV give it the transform location transform rock yeah one and the GL false GL false GL false and the rotation x rotation underscore x uh, not big x but small x uh, let's see what happens now yo yes we have rotating cube although it looks a bit weird because we didn't clear the uh, depth buffer so here I am going to enable the depth buffer gl and enable ok gl enable and uh, depth test gl depth test so we enabled the depth testing so we need to clear the depth buffer b2 gl depth buffer bit so let's see how it looks now yes I'm going to create a second rotation. So copy this line and rotate it on the Y. Matrix uh, change this to Y and numpy.py. Let's see how it looks now. Oh, I forgot to multiply this with rotation y underscore y so let's see now uh -huh. so we have rotating cube which rotates in, in the on the x and on the y axis but instead of numpy that pi I'm gonna give it just a simple value of 0 0.5 on the x and let's say 0 0.8 on the y and now it rotates a little bit slower <coughs> and I'm gonna show you how it looks when in wireframe mode so GL polygon mode GL polygon mode GL front and back front and back yes and GL line GL underscore line okay So now we are seeing our cube in wireframe mode. I think it's beautiful. 